going to make kacheki make a parate but with chicken and so I got two cups of flour or half a teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of oil I'm going to add water and let you know how much water I end up using we're going to make a stiff dough to make my dough I have used one and a half cups of water so I'm going to knead it kneading my dough which took exactly one and a half cups of water it may, this water may depend on the on the type of flour you use but mines I use two cups of flour um, which is atta and uh, one and a half cups of water and I smeared it with some oil and I let it sit in the fridge for at least 15 minutes so that it can sit. Mini blender I've added uh, one medium sized onion I've added about an inch of garlic or one tablespoon of garlic paste if you have it I ran out of it about a tablespoon or two tablespoons of cilantro and one green chili and I'm going to give it all a good blend this is what it looks like a really really finely blend and I'm not I've not blended to a paste but blended into a chopped it into smaller pieces about three chicken tenders that I am going to put in my uh, that I'm going to make keem out of so I'm going to cut it into small pieces and it's about a pound um, and then make keem out the chicken keema uh, chicken sorry the chicken tenders and we will convert it into chicken, chicken keema looks like and I minced it twice to get a really fine ground ground keema Got the keema in we're now going to add the dry spices so to this keema I've added a teaspoon of salt a teaspoon of paprika and a teaspoon of cumin powder or jeera powder you know I'll give everything a good the mix. salt to your taste I did have to adjust my salt and now it's time to make the products themselves hold my roti to about five inch diameter and it's a thick roti thicker than the regular roti and now I'm going to add the filling and now I'm going to gently fold the sides and if you watch my previous video of Kacheki Make Karate I am doing exactly the same thing um, so I'm going to pinch it from all sides and roll it into a bowl I am going to flatten it and it's okay if some of it cracks it is supposed to bring it into a 5 inch disc you place some keema in the middle and do not overfill it just have a right portion like a small ball of keema in it now because kitchen chicken keema has a lot of moisture uh, it will break your roti so just add a small ball of the chicken keema and you will see some breakages and it's okay it's the moisture from the chicken that's causing that so I'm going to uh, heat it on one side for a few minutes and then flip it on the other side I flipped it on the other side after cooking it for about a minute. So for about a minute, I'm going to smear it with some oil or ghee, whatever you like. And then for this side, I'm going to add some more oil or ghee on this side. And then flip it on the other side so that it gets cooked. On medium heat so that the chicken keema gets cooked from inside. Press the parata so that it cooks on both sides. Split it on the other side and once again we put some pressure on it. And there goes my first parata and it's done. So these are my paratas and they're ready. Um, this mixture makes about four or four to five parties like share and subscribe see you later bye